Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Minasan, Namaskar and welcome to the class in the second lecture series on introduction to Japanese language and culture. Uh, we were doing Ageru, Murao and Kureru in our previous lectures. Now these are polite verbs used in formal conversation. Today also we will do verbs in uh, formal conversation and see what these new verbs are. So let us see what we have. But before that, I have a conversation for you, a passage for you and uh, you can listen to the passage and see how much you are able to understand and whatever is left, we are going to do right here. So listen very carefully. Watashi wa Mira to moshimasu. Kino watashi no onei-san no kekkon kinenbi deshita. Onei-san wa kekkon shite kara junen ni narimashita.昨日うちでパーティーがありました。彼女の学校と会社の友達がみんな来てくれました。お姉さんは友達にたくさんお土産をもらいました。お姉さんの学校の時の先生もいらっしゃいました。先生に素晴らしいお土産をいただきました。お
作れました。そう、お母さんは。作る。作る。the plain form of the verb is。作る。it is in te form plus。くれました。meaning。she made and we received。the pleasure of eating the cake。So, I will explain all these forms after we have completed the passage. Over here, just concentrate on the meaning. Goshujin wa one san ni kinen no yubi wa okatte agemashita. So, now someone wa someone ni kinen no yubi wa is ring. O katte agemashita. Kaimas kau. And ageru. So, shite and one san no tame ni for one san, for one san, uta mo also utai mashita. Uta u is the verb. So, he gave a ring to my sister and he also sang for her. 私たちはとても楽しかったです。私たち is all of us はとても exceptionally or exceptionally or very。So now とても over here is used with I adjectives。We have done it earlier for you for the time being concentrate only on I adjectives。It is also used with verbs。But at the moment, concentrate on I adjectives. So now this is in your script and a lot of kanji characters you can understand. So try to practice those. Now let us learn different ways to make a request. Now what do I mean by that? Well, basically showing levels of politeness. When requesting a person to do something or inviting someone, Over to do something with you. Now, the simplest form of request that you have done is verb in te form plus kudasai. Tabete kudasai. Mite kudasai. Nonde kudasai. Now, this te kudasai form is also a semi order. And why am I saying that? Because, well, someone is asking you. You are being requested to do something, and the person who is asking you to do a certain thing has not asked for your opinion, what you desire. He is just saying that please do this for me, just by using a verb which shows respect or which shows request. So, so your opinion is not considered over here. Now you will understand this better. Look at this. Tanaka san, present o akite kudasai. So whether you want to open the present or not has not been asked. You are just being requested to open the present. For example, you can say, Tanaka san, yonde kudasai. So please read. Whether you want to read or not has not been considered. Now, Tanaka san, presento o akete mite kudasai. You have done this form earlier. So, somebody is telling you, suggesting to you that Tanaka san, presento o akete, please open and see. So, please is over here. Please open and see. Again, you are not asked whether you want to open and see it right now or not. Now, again, you can see over here how will you make a request? These two are direct, isn't it? These two are direct, you are not being asked. Now, over here, just see you are being asked Tanaka san, isho ni krab e ikimasen ka. So, won't you please come with me to the club? Now, your opinion is being considered or taken into. Account you are being asked. So, when you use verb in negative plus 
ka it becomes a request it is a polite invitation now we did the verb itadakimasu in our last class as you i'm sure remember it means receiving something from someone older in age and in rank or in formal situations and what does it express or show it shows respect so now let us see the new polite way to make a request how will you make a request to someone to do something for you or to do something with you so we are using this word tetsudau tetsudau this is the dictionary form or plain form sumimasen chotto tetsudatte kudasai so whenever you are requesting someone to do something obviously you are going to say sumimasen or please excuse me or i am sorry i am going to be taking your time so basically all of that will come to sumi masen or you can also do it in the negative you can say sumi masen tetsudawa nai de kudasai tetsudawa nai de kudasai maybe you are angry with the person maybe you do not need help maybe you are not on very good terms with the person so you do not want to interact with the person so you can say sumimasen tetsudawa nai de kudasai please don't help me i mean these are just situations i am telling you well nobody uses this but yes you can make in negative as well with kudasai then sumimasen chotto tetsudatte kurenai so very very informal extremely informal and to be used with people either your same age or people younger to you even though you are using kuremas but still you are using it in plain form so it is not that polite similarly even though you are using kudasai over here you are still ordering as we just learnt so look at this one now sumimasen chotto tetsudatte kuremasen ka now this is polite you are saying tetsudatte kuremasen and you are using this ka over here which shows that it is respectful one and two shows your position that you are over here and the person you are asking to help is over here is senior it is not in your own group or to family members you will use kurenai with family members now you can see the degree of politeness how it is increasing over here it is kudasai semi order it is with friends over here or with family now this is a little more towards being respectful and humble and what is this over here itadakemasen ka sumimasen chotto tetsudatte very very polite definitely you can make out from here that the person is senior or the situation is formal it's not just your friends or family so tetsudatte itadakemasen ka position is still here the person is over here and your position is here so you can see the degree how it changes from very polite to not being so polite being direct as i told you you can see the degree over here as well for example tetsudai mas tetsudai mas it means i will help tetsudai masen i will not help not help now if i say tetsu datte kudasai then please help but again it is semi order i'm doing these things again and again with you so that 
it is very clear to you how to use these forms and what is the meaning of these forms because these are used a lot in daily conversation. Then tetsudai masen and ka. So, in the negative with the negative masen form use ka and make it polite, respectful. Then we have sumimasen, tetsudatte kuremasen ka. So, even more polite over here because kuremasen is definitely more polite than masen ka. You are here and the person you are asking help from is over here. So, please give it to me, please help me and I will receive the favor of your help. Now, if you want it to be even more polite, then sumimasen tetsudatte ita dake masen ka as we did in our previous slide. So, this is the most polite way to ask someone for some help. As I have been saying verb te kudasai is a semi order with a polite word which is kudasai. Whereas, although verb te plus kuremas or kureru is considered polite or humble, you would have noticed that it is in plain form. The verb is still in plain form and sounds still more like an order and it is considered informal. So, even though it is humble, it is still not very polite. So, now as we did in our previous slide, you can replace verb tetsudau with any other verb like you can see over here. This is what we did previously, sumimasen chotto tetsudatte kuremasen ka. Now, you can replace tetsudau with matsu, with au or with yomu. Now, what are these verbs? Wait, meet and read. So, you can say sumimasen chotto matte kuremasen ka. Please, will you wait for a minute for me? Or sumimasen chotto sensei ni atte kuremasen ka. Please, will you go and meet sensei? Or you can say sumimasen chotto watashi no kawari ni sensei ni atte kuremasen ka. Please will you go instead of me and meet sensei or with yonde you can say sumimasen chotto yonde kuremasen ka or for example, we are in class and I ask you to read something. So, well of course, I will not use the kuremas over here to you directly in class, but yes, just for practicing. Ano, mira san chotto yonde kuremasen ka. Please won't you read it for me? So, this is how you can use any of these other verbs instead of tetsuda. Now, if you want to be even more polite, then sumimasen chotto tetsudatte itadake masen ka as we have been doing and replace any of the verbs instead of tetsuda. Now, verb te form plus kurenai, which was there in one of our previous slides is the most informal method of requesting people to do something for you as I told you at that time. This is used more with family members, close friends, your peer group, people younger to you. You could use it with classmates, wherever basically there is an informal relationship, informal relationship and uh, people senior to you, you cannot use this kurenai form. You have to remember that, you have to remember that when you are doing conversation. Sumimasen chotto tetsudatte kurenai, yatte kurenai, hanashte kurenai, nite kurenai. So, again as I told you with your peer group, people who are your age, your nakama, friends, 
For example, you can only tell your friends or people who are younger to you, you can order them about, isn't it? Hayaku itte, hayaku itte, so hayaku itte kurenai, just a little soft, the order becomes a little soft, that's about all. Hayaku itte, a direct order, hayaku itte kurenai, so your body language is a little polite. Sore totte, so to somebody who is younger to you. You cannot order any and everybody about. So, sore totte kurenai and it becomes a little soft and polite. Koko ni kaite, so koko ni kaite kudasai. O koko ni kaite kurenai, so for example, you can have a situation where you want somebody's phone number and uh, you don't have a pen to write. So, you can tell your friend, koko ni kaite kurenai, won't you please write it over here for me? You want salt, so sore o totte kurenai, shi o totte kurenai. So, in this manner, it becomes informal. Now, we just learn to use verb in te form plus kuremashita. Now, let us see how we can use verb in te form plus agiru and verb in te form plus murau and what it conveys actually. There are some sentences from our passage. So, let us see what they are. Tomodachi wa uchi ni kite kuremashita. So, they came and came and I received the pleasure as I had just explained in the beginning. Now, kuremas is humble and kudasai mashita is polite. Please remember meaning is the same that tomodachi wa uchi ni kite kuremashita. So, they came over. Now, you have to look at this very, very carefully. Tomodachi ni seta o tsukutte moraimashita. So, tomodachi made, tomodachi made and who received? I received the favor. I received the sweater. So, watashi is missing over here. Watashi wa is missing over here. This is very, very important. You will see just now why it is important. Watashi wa tsumani, again wa is over here and this one. Watashi wa tsumani gohan no tsukutte, she made and morai mashita, I got. Gohan is food, so oksan made, made food for, for me. Now, tomodachi ni shukudai o tetsudatte moraimashita. So, again he helped and I got the or received the favor. So, now you will see that te kuremas moraimas. Later on you will see others as well. Who is the subject and who is receiving the favor? Who is giving what to whom? You have to keep that in mind. Muraimas and kudasaimas, that will change. You can give something as I had explained earlier. I can give you and I can give someone else as well. You can also give someone something. Now, you can see very clearly, instead of tomodachi, you can put chichi, oni, san, haha, someone over here. Tomodachi ni shukudai o tetsudatte moraimashita. Chichi ni shukudai o tetsudatte moraimashita. Haha ni something o oshiete moraimashita. So, you can replace tomodachi with any of this. Now, you will see in morau, who is the beneficiary? It is watashi and in kureru, who is the benefactor? X. So, you have to be very careful with the subject. Subject wa, subject could be anybody, it could be me or it could be 
、お兄さん、お母さん、友達、先生、田中さん、anyone。And then who is receiving what is also very, very important. So again and again, I'm giving you sentences again and again, trying to tell you the same thing because this is used a lot in daily conversation. So, by using te form of the verb plus morau, as you saw just now, we say that we get or we receive or we arrange or persuade someone to do something for us. By this, we basically mean that a favor was done to either me or to someone else. In a broader sense, you could say basically a favor done. Similarly, we use the te form for ageru when we do something for others or when someone else does something for someone else or others. Now, you can look at these examples and try to understand. Tomodachi ni seta o tsukutte agimashita. Now, if it was morai mashita, then tomodachi ni seta o tsukutte moratta is I. Got, I received. Over here we are saying, Tomodachi ni seta o tsukutte agemashita. I gave. So the verb will change on who is giving what to whom. For example, Watashi wa tsuma ni yubi wa o katte agemashita. I gave. And if it was moraimashita over here, then Then the meaning would have been that I got a yubiva from my wife. Now, if we change the subject over here, for example, suma wa watashi ni. So, what is the verb going to be over here? Can you tell me? We have been doing it for so long now. I think it's very clear. Ku zeru. So, suma wa watashi ni yubiva o katte kure mashita. Watashi wa ototo ni okane o kashite agimashita. I lent him money. Watashi wa ototo ni moshikomi sho o katte agimashita. Moshikomi sho is application form. So, ototo ni kaite agimashita means I wrote and then gave it to him. Basically, I wrote the application for. Him. Please remember how to use these verbs with te form and the meaning. So, I, watashi, or someone, wa, verb in te ageru basically means on demand or is a favor. So, I can also say, ja, mira san, chotto pen o kashite agete, please. Lend the pen to XYZ, whoever I'm pointing at. So it could be a, a demand by me that please do this, or it could be a favor to me that please do this for me. So over here you can see these two. So Mira san wa Rao san ni from. Wine o tsukutte morai mashitashi received. Then, Rao san wa Mira san ni wai no tsukutte agemashita. He gave to Mira san agemashita. Now, Rao san wa watashi ni wai no tsukutte kuremashita. Now, who is saying? Mira san is saying that Rao san wa watashi ni to me wai no tsukutte kuremashita. She is being very, very humble that he was kind enough. To make wine and pour the wine in the glass and give it to me. So I got or I received. Now, Rao san, why not scoot te itadake masen ka? Polite way of requesting Rao san to get a glass of wine for her. So itadake masen ka, very, very. Polite. So, you can see how it changes actually. How basically, in a broader sense, meaning is the same, but how level of politeness changes. Now, you can use it in another way as well. 
look at this one these two are talking and you can see this lady struggling with her luggage so what do they say that's that they age ma shoka shall i go and this is shall ma sho and ka means shall depending on the verb so the verb is age ma shoka shall i go and help her is what this gentleman is saying and then he goes over there he goes to the lady and he says that's dai ma shoka shall i help you shall i help you why i've put it over here is this is very common and uh, generally if someone is having problem with luggage or with bags maybe in the mall maybe at the airport maybe at the station well that's dai ma shoka is what you should say so i have some polite verbs for you here which are used in daily conversation let us see what they are so this is also very very typical where on the phone if you have to ask whether the person is present or not and also when you have to tell who you are then what are the verbs that are going to be used so moshi moshi is hello as you know and two moshis together is hello not just one moshi also do not use moshi as a hello as a greeting mira to moshimasu moshi mas ga rao san irashai mas ka so two polite verbs mo u su mo su means called and irasharu means irasharu means present basically this verb is polite for iku kuru and kairu over here is he present over there gakko no toki no sensei mo irashai mashita this was there in the passage that she was also present iru irasharu is the polite for iru kuru and iku same picture over here now this is just for practice again but with a polite verb so mira san kono wine wa oishi kara meshi agatte kudasai meshi agaru is polite for taberu so for drinking meshi agatte kudasai you are having a cup of tea so dozo kocha o meshi agatte kudasai this is very typical you go to somebody's house and dozo nonde kudasai will never be used dozo meshi agatte kudasai when somebody is offering coffee or tea to you and then it can also be used for eating so you can see okasan ga tsukutta kara she has made this das meshi agatte kudasai please eat now will you say that okasan ga tsukutta kara watashi wa meshi agarimasu why will you not use meshi agarimasu because meshi agarimasu is polite and to yourself you don't have to use this verb you can use tabe mas to your family members also immediate family members you will not use meshi agarimasu always use tabe mas so these polite verbs you need to understand that you cannot use with family members and with yourself it's only in formal situations and people older to you or when you want to give respect to others there are some more polite verbs this you did just now ikukuru and kairu is irasharu as we did then we have kureru which is kudasaru we've been doing for a long time ageru is sashi ageru which you have already done and itadaku we did here in this lesson which is again for respect to others and formal situations now taberu we did just now meshi agaru this is all in dictionary form or plain form as it is called 
jishoke and there are more verbs over here you is mosu watashi wa mira to moshimasu or osharu which means to tell or to speak sensei ga oshai mashita then we have suru and the polite for suru is nasaru miru is goran ni naru of course we have not done any sentence so far and i'm going to cover these two later then mairu mairi mas is very very humble when you say i come from a certain place so you will notice something over here which i'm going to do very soon these verbs end in ru kudasaru irasharu osharu nasaru okay but when you make the mas form what happens let us see irasharu irasharu so we need to remove the u and put i imas isn't it but that does not happen over here it is irasha e mas so the ru is removed over here please remember and not u this is an exception in a similar manner kodasaru again you will remove the ru over here and kodasai mas nasaru again nasai mas osharu and osai mas you will see over here but just concentrate on these two at the moment and we will do these two later now you have done introduction watashi wa so and so des indo kara des how are we going to change this with polite verbs you will see hajime mashite watashi wa mira des indo kara des dozo yoroshiku onegai shimasu this is what you have done how are we going to make it polite hajime mashite mira to moshimasu indo kara maeri mashita yoroshiku onegai shimasu so mosu and mairu mai ru please remember these two verbs very important when you are doing your introduction you need to be very polite and very humble so remember these two verbs now this introduction you can forget as you do know these polite verbs so use these verbs so now there is this expression in one of our sentences gakko no toki which roughly corresponds to at that particular time so the time is shown by the noun mentioned in the sentence how is that done let us see kodomo no toki so when i was a child at the time when i was a child yoku terubi o mimashita at that time at that time yoku is lots again but it refers to degree it is something that cannot be counted so kodomo no toki yoku terubi o mimashita i watched a lot of tv kodomo no toki yoku osoku made terubi o mimashita so till late at the time when i was a child i was small yoku a lot osoku made till late terubi o mimashita i saw so kodomo no toki tomodachi to issho ni with my friend yoku picnic e ikimashita i have put itta also and ikimashita also over here so that you understand that both mean the same only level of politeness is there now koko no toki yoku arubaito o shimashita as a high school student at the time when i was in high school i did lot of arubaito and this is part time this is a common thing which the students do in foreign countries as high school students as university students they do a lot of arubaito which is part time work so you can also see how to use 
at a particular time. Now this is only used with nouns please remember. I have done with verbs but will be doing it again later with you. Now this is your vocabulary. Please go over the vocabulary. And with this I would like to finish today's class. There is lot of Ageru, Murau and Kureru which we have done. There is Masen Ka also which we have done and we have also done Te form of the verb with Itadaku and Kudasaru and Ageru. So please do that, practice that at home with your partner, make small dialogues, answer make the question answer and I am sure you will be very very comfortable. So till our next class, arigato gozaimashita, mata aimashou.